Stanzas by Edgar Allan Poe Read for LibriVox.org by Algie Pug Perth, Western Australia How often we forget all time When lone, admiring nature's universal throne Her woods, her wilds, her mountains The intense reply of hers to our intelligence One in youth have I known one with whom the earth in secret communing held, as he with it, in daylight and in beauty from his birth, whose fervid flickering torch of life was lit from the sun and stars, whence he had drawn forth a passionate light, such for his spirit was fit. And yet that spirit knew not in the hour of its own fervour what had o'er it power. 2. Perhaps it may be that my mind is wrought to a fever by the moonbeam that hangs o'er, but I will half believe that wild life fraught with more of sovereignty than ancient lore hath ever told, or is it of a thought the unembodied essence, and no more, that with a quickening spell doth o'er us pass, as dew of the night-time o'er the summer grass? 3. Doth o'er us pass? when as the expanding eye to the loved object so the tear to the lid will start which lately slept in apathy and yet it need not be that object hid from us in life but common which doth lie each hour before us but then only bid with a strange sound as of a harp-string broken to awake us tis a symbol and a token Four of what in other worlds shall be and given in beauty by our god to those alone who otherwise would fall from life and heaven drawn by their heart's passion and that tone that high tone of the spirit which hath striven though not with faith with godliness whose throne with desperate energy hath beaten down wearing its own deep feeling as a crown end of poem this recording is in the public domain.